if you look at, we are a very dis, um, transparent market where we announce all transactions by investor categories every week uh, on the market. So there is nothing to, um, to hide on who participated in the market. If I look at um, semi-government institutions, PIF, pension funds, etc., they are active investors. They own 30% of the market years ago. So they are an active, they are active investors. So propping up is mischaracterizing what happened? I don't see any intervention by government in, in, in our market. This is an independent market regulated by the capital market authorities. I think the differentiation we see here is whether we classify these big um, government institutions as an active investors. And they have been active investors since the beginning of the market. And, and, and their ownership in the market are disclosed and any change on these these market, uh, these um, um, these ownership are, are also disclosed. So, you expect movements by any cyber investors in the market, including international investors. As far as the market um, impacts, um, any markets goes through um, um, rights, and um, I think the success of the first tranche inclusion of FTSE just shows commitments, um, um, smoothness of including the Saudi market. Uh, um, internationally, and the, we haven't seen any turbulence on um, uh, inflows of cash for the first tranche of FTSE, and it was very smooth by both sides, the sellers and as well as the buyers, which is, in my opinion, um, confirmed the confidence of international investors to participate on the Saudi uh, markets, on the regulatory framework of the Saudi capital market. And despite the um, news uh, that has been created um, around who controls the Saudi market, um, um, and I would, I, would, I would confirm who controls the Saudi market are investors participating in the Saudi market. All eyes on 2021. Yeah, <laughs> all, all, all eyes on 2021, where we will have um, a much comfortable infrastructural base for um, um, Saudi market based on international best practices. And that Aramco IPO? Um, well, we'll be ready uh, whenever that decision is made, whether it's before or after. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.